What's going on traders? This is going to be a video about how to add a study collection to an existing chart that already has studies loaded into the chart. And why this is important is because oftentimes you have buddies or friends who have maybe saved a bunch of studies as a study collection and they're sharing it with you and all you want to do is add the study collection to an existing chart that you're using. So for example, I've got this five minute chart up here with all kinds of fancy stuff on here. And let's say I had a friend who had uh, some sort of zigzag uh, chart for rotations. And I wanted to add that onto this chart. But what I don't want to do is I don't want to copy settings or I just want to do it as fast as possible, okay? And in this chart, I have all these settings, right? So it's, it's a huge list of settings. So let's say your friend or someone you know sends you a study collection. What you're essentially going to do is you're going to take that and you're going to put it in your Sierra chart uh, data file. And then you're going to go over here to analysis. And what you're going to do is you're going to say, let's say you find this Renko zigzag study that your friend gave to you and you load it into your chart and you're like, oh, that's cool, but I want to add it to an existing study. Okay, so what you need to do is if you have added it through the analysis and you know the study here, you just need to go into studies and there's a few different ways, shortcut ways to do it, but I'm showing you the in the program uh, sort of way to do it. You can go add plus to the file name and it'll kind of do the same thing. So you've got this Renko zigzag study saved as a study collection what you want to do is you want to make sure you have a plus added to it so you do that by go ahead and selecting this prompt to remove existing studies and then you go ahead and you save all it says save all studies to this using Renko's exec plus yes you save it and so let's say you have your existing study uh collection and this Renko zigzag is the one that your friend sent to you. And you're like, man, I just want to add this to my existing study collection. Okay, so, so let's just say you've got your original study going and you want to add the Renko zigzag. So at this point, since you save the Renko zigzag with a plus on the end, and you can simply change the file name to plus on the end and put it in your data file, that will work as well. So you don't need to go through the uh, step of, you know, selecting and then saving it as in the studies to graph interface or dialog box, right? So you can do it the, uh, the other way. So all you do is you go into the analysis tab and then the one that you save Renko Zigzag Plus, you go ahead and you click that one and see that this little dialog box for uh, charts will say clear existing studies on chart. You just say no. And now look, it's added to this chart. So now all of the studies are appended or added to the end right here. And if you want to get rid of everything you don't want, let's say volume, just get rid of it, right? Hit it. Okay, now volume's gone, right? You don't want that. So now you can just go through and instead of going through a huge list and adding them one by one with, you know, all the settings and everything like that, somebody can send you a study list and then you can just add it and it takes a lot less time and then you can save it as something. You can say combined. Uh, studies or whatever you want to call it, you know, combine studies 23 or however you do your naming for your studies. And then you can go through and you can get rid of all the ones that you don't want from your friend. But now all of a sudden, you know, you don't have to, you know, as you go through and let's say you remove all this stuff, right? Let's say you just wanted the zigzag study itself. So let's get rid of all of it. And let's just go ahead and do that. Now you just have the zigzag study on there. You've now made a massive shortcut to add a whole collection of studies to your chart. So hopefully you guys find this video useful. Um, if you do, please like, share, and subscribe. And happy trading. Take care. Bye-bye.